How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to another very special Adventure Quest video and yes, this video was very very highly requested but oh boy, I am not excited at all to make this video because of two things. One, uh, this video is going to cost me quite a bit of money, okay, and two, this video is going to cost me quite a bit of time, alright, so it's about 9.35pm right now so let's see how long this entire thing will take you guys probably won't see like a two three hour long video because i'll just cut out all the boring parts but for this video what we are going to be doing is we are first of all going to be buying all of the golden no <laughs> golden gift boxes going to be buying all of the frost veil paintings okay from 2014 all the way up to 2021 so we already bought the 2021 version okay and if you don't want to do the quest for whatever reason, you just want to buy the painting, then you can just buy it from the limited time shop here without going through this year's quest, okay? So I'll go through uh, 2014 all the way up to 2020. And I won't go through 2021 because I already went through that. You guys can go look through my, you know, past video, uh, my recent videos if you guys want to see my review on 2021's items. So we are going to be spending 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 14,000 Z tokens to make this video guys so uh, if you guys appreciate my hard work and my money and my time making this video please do give me a like and of course uh, do share the video uh, if you have found it helpful at the end right so let's start with buying the paintings Ah, this is going to hurt so much but let's go 2014 2015 ooh, 2016 <laughs> Oh man, I really don't need to buy all of these paintings because I have all the items, like the, the, the good items that I want to get. Like there's no reason for me to do it apart from, you know, doing it for you guys. So you see here, everything I do for you guys, man. There we have it, 14,000 C tokens fan. And by the way, if you're not a content creator like me, you guys can just watch through the video, see what is useful, and then, you know, just buy the years uh, whereby there's useful stuff for yourself, okay? You don't have to buy everything unless you just want, uh, you know, a way to access all of the older quests. That's also another reason why you might want to buy the items. But if you're just buying the painting solely for the items alone, then what I recommend you to do is buy the paintings and then you can sell them off for like 90% price uh, within, I believe it's 24 hours if I'm not wrong. So yeah, once you buy the painting, quickly go and farm for the items and then if you don't want to, you know, have the ability to revisit the quest uh, in the future, if you don't care for that, all you want is the items, then you know, just sell the painting so that you'll only spend 200 tokens uh, for each year. Okay, for me, I will just keep the paintings in case I want to revisit the quests uh, next time for in, if somebody like asks us for like a nostalgia quest or something like 10 years down the road or something. So yeah. So there we have it, all of the paintings. Now let's go to our house and we are... What I'm going to do is I'll go through them in sequence year by year and then we will... Uh, there's two things to go through. One is the delivery wall for that year. The second thing is the main quest for that year so yeah two quests two main like quest lines per year i don't know how many quests some years have more quests than, than others because it's split up into a few different parts so yeah and also on top of that uh how i like to do this is i am just going to skip through everything and then we will jump to the boss fight so i'm going to cut the videos so that it won't be like a two to three hour long video i'm just going to cut through all the questing i'll just you know suffer on my own and then you guys can just watch me play through the boss fight after the boss fight we'll access the shop i'll go through what are the items that i think are worth inside of the shop okay of course uh keep this in mind that everybody's inventories and everybody's builds and play styles are different what i think is good may not be good for you depending on what you already have okay so if you have a premium item then maybe these items you don't really care for at all or maybe uh you're a free to play player then you'll greatly value these items or like maybe you are playing a certain build then th these items don't fit your certain build or play style then you might not find the items useful all right so this is just a guide by no way is it like the the best you know uh must buy items uh guide inside of the game or everything is a recommendation here all right so we'll start with 2014 oh god i can't even recognize i believe this is 2014 okay 2014 it's a wonderful life of crime is it yep Okay, so three things to go through. I won't go through the decorate the tree quest, okay? Decorate the tree, I believe it doesn't matter what year it is. Like, you get access to every year's items. I may be wrong, okay? I may be wrong, but yeah, I believe that the decorate the tree quest, uh, it's a little bit different each year in terms of the quest, but 
the items that you find in there are all going to be the same. I'll go through that at the end, all right, uh, to see. I mean, decorate the tree returns every single year, so it doesn't matter if they change up the quest. The items inside are going to be the same, so it's not really a big deal. Okay, so 2014, Wonderful Life of Crime, and I'll see you guys at the boss fight. Okay, so apparently I didn't even know that it was the boss fight. But yeah, the boss fight you fight against Santa Cabby, aka Carbros, in uh as Zorbeck. So yeah, you're not even fighting with your own character, you're just fighting with Zorbeck, which is a character that they gave you. So uh there's no point for me to go through that. Um uh, you know, that's not an excuse because I didn't know it was the boss fight. Uh Technically it is, but yeah, it, it's not really a tough boss or anything. Just spam the attack button and you win. There's there's no strategy to it. Okay, so weapons, solid gold guardian blade. This one is a zero proc light melee sword with no other effects. Uh, not worth getting. Armors, not of the fire orb. Okay, uh, keep in mind these armors aren't even level 150. So yeah, so mastercraft fully, uh, mastercraft mid defensive armor, fire armor with a standard helicom fire spell that causes MP. So the fire resistance is only 41% because it's uh, old and under level. And as for the shield, we have hula hoop here. So again, level 141 shield. This shield is quite interesting because it's a, it's minus 20% to both earth and darkness. And on top of that, it has minus 12% to fire. So you don't really see a lot of uh, compression shields like that. It could be good for certain niche users, especially for monsters that hit with those three elements but apart from that you usually don't want to use these kind of shields for monsters that hit with one element only uh, simply because 20% is just not going to cut it for today's standards that being said if you are encountering a monster that hits with any of those three elements or mainly earth and darkness I think there's some uh, in the recent years yeah, I think there's some monsters in the recent years that hit with both Earth and Dark. And this could be useful. So I think this is like the only sort of useful thing to pick up from the shop. Even then, it's not really that great. So if you want to pass it up, I guess you can. So that's the end of uh, It's a Wonderful Life of Crime. Okay, uh, next up, we'll go to Killing Spree. All right. Okay, so Killing Spree, the fight, the boss fight, we have Conan, and I definitely remember this guy, very, very iconic boss back in the day. Used to be somewhat difficult, but uh, definitely not like on the super difficult scale yet. But yeah, this boss has some difficulty when it first came out, so very interesting boss, and I think he can freeze you, if I remember correctly, and then he can do like a fire nuke, alright. So to start off, we are going to go into our fire armor. I can't remember which element he hits with first, but we'll just go into our fire armor. Here and then we'll go into Titans 4. Alright, let's start battle. King Conan the Repentant. Wielder of the Prime Fire is here to stop your fun. Oh, everything is fire and burning. Oh, Thermal Shock. Yeah. Oh, he does the fire attack and then he does the ice nuke. Yeah, now I remember. Okay, so uh because we are because we now have a dodge build to dodge slash build to play around with, let us go ahead and try and dodge slash all of the frost fail bosses so far and let's see how far we can get okay so right here i'm going to do code konami first i sure hope this works out there there shouldn't be any auto hit right back in the day yeah there shouldn't be there is then well i i guess i'm screwed but yeah i don't think there is any so we'll bring out twisted pick trick here boost our defenses Okay, and for the pet, uh, for the guest, sorry, I think we'll just use Tidal Pirate uh, to get in a little bit of extra damage so that we can kill him faster. Uh, let's see, we'll just do normal attacks. Yeah, so we'll just do Slice and Dice over here, Essence Orb. And then let's see, Spells, I guess. I don't need Arcane M, we can do Una Poka. You know, boost the damage of the pet and the guest. Uh, just a guess, sorry. So, Shadow Feeder, we'll do one turn of that. And then, we already have one turn. Okay, that's good. We'll do Power Gauntlet, Crush. We'll do Mix Nuts. I guess we'll do Walnuts. Yep. And then, we do Bright Slayer Duck. Attack. Uh, let's see, Panoply. And now, we do Purple Rain. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's gonna do its new again next turn. If this lands, then we are going to be in big trouble. So hopefully it doesn't land. Now for ice, what's my ice weapon? Staff of Ore. 
Okay, no power word die. That's fine because I kind of want to see what will, uh, if we are able to dodge the attack. Miss, nice. Oh, Bright Slayer dog missed though, so that kind of sucks. Okay. Two hit. Nice. Unfortunately, Bright Slayer dog keeps missing and I do not know why. Oh, finally he landed a hit there. Okay, that's good. And let's see here. We still got one more round to our blocking. Okay, miss. Nice. Oh, actually we should have used Big Dictionary, but do we even need to? That's the problem. Can you even hit through this? Oh god, he did. Oh god. That is so bad. <laughs> Wow, we almost screwed ourselves <laughs> so early on, man. I was too overconfident. I thought he would never be able to hit through that. Oh yeah, but he's level 160, 265 dexterity. What was I thinking? Okay, so he's dead. Nice. Alright, so we dodge slash uh, Conan. The very first boss is down. And we'll skip through all the dialogue here. Ooh. Oh, blue screen of death. I kind of forgot how this quest went already. Back in the day when I covered this, I don't think I covered the dialogue right because it was just skippity skip skip like what I'm doing right now. I may cover a dialogue in the future, I don't know. Okay, Lollipop Maze. This one, zero proc magic maze that hits for random elements per hit and deals increased damage for compensation. Um, Not very good unless you're facing like Void Dragon or something that's like weak to all the elements equally, then this could be good. But other than that, I wouldn't say it's worth a pickup. Candy Cane Cataclysm. I spell that paralyzes. You pay 29.75% damage for a chance to inflict Paralyze for, uh, that's based off the monster's ice resistance, okay? And golems and robots are immune because the spell is old. Okay, that's kind of weird. Level 147, again, these are level 150 items, so they are not going to be as strong. Uh, if you need a good Paralyze spell, I guess you can use this, but otherwise, I would say no. It's not really worth a pickup, not really worth 2,000 or 200 tokens. Vampoglin Lord, okay, this one. Uh, it's a Mastercraft Darkness pet that can toggle between pure damage and an SP Drain mode. SP Drain mode deals half damage to HP and heals 1.125 times of the damage dealt in SP. Because the pet is all the Mastercraft is spent on having two modes. So it effectively has no Mastercraft by today's standards. Okay, so this one, if you want a SP Drain pet, Underwhelming is going to be better. And if you want a SP Healing pet, then you should use the broken... Uh, Fey items, Fey pet from this year's gift delivery war, or you can use the broken uh, ghost hound pet from the Frostville gift boxes. Either one has broken SP healing, which is going going to weigh heal way more than this Vampoglin lot. I don't know when it will get fixed. I don't know if it will get fixed, but when it gets fixed, I guess this is now it's still a meteor jelly from last year, but. Yeah, for SP healing, I don't think you really want to rely on a pet. And if you want to drain SP, then Underwhelming is just going to do a better job. So I would say this is also a pass. Nothing really good here. Alright, now last part, gift delivery. Okay, so go through that and I'll see you guys in a bit. So right away, we have a fight with Zorbeck. So let's get started. Let's see if he'll land a hit on me without any boost. Hope I don't screw myself over. Solar Incinerator, okay, that, that, that's not so bad. He landed 3 out of the 4 hits, but that didn't do a lot of damage, so I'm actually okay. So, uh, for the stuff here, we'll do Power Gun, no, let's do Purple Rain first. Crush. And then we can do, what else do we want to do? I kind of lazy to do all the other stuff, so maybe we'll do Una Poka as well. To boost up the damage of this guy. Water damage is 100%, so yep, we'll use him. And let me see here. Shadow Feeder, we'll try and get one turn. Oh, nullified it. Damn you, Zorbeck. Come on. Alright, we got it. Okay, so now, uh, Panoply here. Purple Rain. Now we are going to use Bright Slayer Dog. Alright, so he's weak to light. So we can switch over to Law Master Tome here. Try and chip him with damage while we the dodge slash does most of the 
heavy lifting. Okay, so the defenses we got. How much do we have? 30? 30? 42? I think that should be more than enough, right? Oh, yeah. That's gonna hit him hard. Oh, nice. Almost one shotted. Okay, so Zorbeck, pretty easy for dodge slashing. Zorbeck may not have his necromancy, but I can still put up a fight. Skip, skip, skip. Come on, why is there so much dialogue? The Wonderful Life of Crime is a ridiculously long quest. For those of you guys who didn't play through it, and there's absolutely nothing worth picking up inside there except maybe the shield. So you should definitely not do that quest if you don't want the shield. Okay, give delivery. Max level versions of these items is level 145. So let's see what we have. Melee Flaming Sword. Very nice artwork. It's a 20 proc Mastercraft Light Melee Sword that inflicts minus 9 times light resist death loss on special. Worthless. Magic Flaming Sword, same thing but uh, numbers a little bit changed because of it being magic damage. Throwing Halo, again, uh, same thing but numbers are a bit changed. Okay, just the ranged version. Armors, in Angelic Ropes. Okay, this one is a Mastercraft Light Spellcaster Lean Armor that boosts all spells cast in the armor by times 1.375 times damage. The Mastercraft goes to grant plus 12.5% incoming healing. The link page, okay, has incorrect information. Uh, this is the update. Light resistance is only 40% due to it being old and under level. So if you need a <clears throat> armor to heal up in, this will be good. But if you want a damage boosting armor, uh, Generalist's Ropes is just going to be better than any other spellcasting armor out there your blood mage is also the way to go if you want to do that so yeah if you want to boost your damage spells nah don't go for this one if you want to boost your healing i guess this will be good but again uh you know your generalist ropes exist so this is like not even worth in my opinion ha mastercraft light shield there's a 6.1 percent chance to inflict 100 percent chance control on a monster Note that the light resistance is only 25% due to it being old and under level. Um, yeah, not a good item. You want control, yeah, like 6.1% chance only. Nah, it's, it's really just not worth. Healing Wings. Okay, this one. Mastercraft light healing spell that pays 25.5% damage to gain a minus 50% darkness element shield for one turn. This could actually be good against monsters that hit very hard. But of course, if you've seen my, you know, OP items to get, you can use Jocastrum ropes to achieve something even better than this. Okay, you can also use uh, other stuff like maybe your shield cake if you have that. I think that also gives you a darkness element shield, right? Yeah, there's, there's lots of things that give you element shield nowadays that does a better job than healing wings. So, again, another pass. Snow Angel Mastercraft pet that compresses ice and light. Nothing much to say if you need to compress ice and light for the pet. Can get this, otherwise, uh, nothing too special about it. Angel Bells, this is probably the best item that came out of this entire 2014. Okay, so it has a, it's a Mastercraft light miscellaneous item that provides 556 five, MRM and extra 50 charisma. But what you want to use it for is the compressed gas that's inside it. So compressed inside is a gas called Sharap. It's a light gas that deals extra 100% damage for a 3 over 7 chance of giving the monster celebrity. However, this item and this guest is worthless nowadays because uh, Paladin armor exists and Paladin armor you have your manifestation which is a better guess in my opinion. I don't know how the numbers match up. I think manifestation does a little bit lesser damage. But you know what? Uh, manifestation despite the heavy cost and you know I think slightly reduced damage. I'm not exactly sure on the numbers there. But at least it doesn't give your monster the uh, your monster celerity. Okay, giving your monster celerity is so so bad that you almost don't really want this at all. It used to be very good. Okay, but now because Paladin armor exists, your manifestation guess exists, you don't ever want to use this. So yeah, it's been outclassed nowadays. 2014, <clears throat> all in all, only worthy uh items worth picking up are Hula Hoop Shield from the Wonderful Life of Crime if you want a compression compression shield against monsters that do Earth and Darkness. The Lollipop Mace, the random element hitting weapon if you're 
you know, fighting something like Void Dragon or something that is weak to all elements. Um, Vampoglin Lord, I don't even know if this is worth a mention because, you know, there are better SP healing and SP draining pets out there nowadays. Angelic Ropes if you want to boost your healing, but again, better stuff nowadays. Okay, and Angel Bells for the Sharap gas, but of course you have Paladin uh, armor nowadays with the gas inside. So yeah, 2014, not worth 2,000 tokens. Not even worth 200 tokens in my opinion. So yeah, that is a big skip if you're watching this video. Okay, next up, 2015. Fruitcake Fury. Okay, this one, wow, a lot of stuff to go through here. Uh, decorate tree, we'll skip that. So one, two, three, four. All right, chili request. We'll go into that first, and once we reach the boss fight, I will unpause the video. Okay, so I don't know if this is the boss or not, but I'm going to assume there is. Also, the new royal wedding cake pad that I said that I wanted to show off in the in this video. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, so we'll switch to obsidian cloak first because I don't know how powerful his attack is going to be. You better watch out. This undead knight now clan cold black armor was a powerful force when he was alive. Okay, so he's going to be weak to light, obviously. Earth is not going to do much. Water will do a bit more, so we'll switch over to uh Tidal Pyre Red, 8933 HP. Okay. We will start with Purple Rain. Oh no, actually I don't think we'll be able to showcase this. Okay, so this is what the pet can do. Okay, I'm not going to show everything here because I'm trying to play the dodge build, right? So yeah, sorry, I like I won't be able to showcase it. Okay, but that's alright. Uh, we'll do Arcane Amp. Unapoka. We'll do Imano. Gain more SP here. Shadow Feeder. Nice. Okay, nice. We got it. Switch over to Ghost Costume. Shield. I will do Titans Fall. And let's go and do Panoply. Right, now we got a second turn. Now we do Purple Rain. Alright, there we go. Items, I think we'll use Bright Slayer Dirk and we'll hit him with light damage. Alright, so light will do Law Master Tome. And let's do this. So he shouldn't be able to hit true. He still have a small 41 HP barrier in case things go wrong, but don't think they'll be able to save us anyway. Okay, two hits. Nice. Nuke him with light again. Alright, that does about 1.5k damage. Pretty happy. Considering I don't really have any strong damage boosting items on me now. And I think we'll be able to kill him before the shield fully wears off. Yeah. Okay, he should kill himself on the next turn. So he should be fine. There we are. Okay, I'm assuming that's the boss. I don't know. Ooh. Sorry to people uh, who might have seizures. Hopefully you don't get a seizure from that. Chili request. Okay, some weapons. We got the fruitcake weapons. Okay, so the fruitcake sword. 10 proc mastercraft water melee sword that inflicts a one turn paralyze on weapon special with a uh, something something water resist hit percent chance. Okay, so it's based on the monster's water resist. Spear and staff does basically the same thing but in range and magic forms. It's a decent weapon if you want to paralyze your foes, but apart from that, I would say it's a pass. For me, I don't really play around with paralyzed effects that much, so I don't know and I don't remember how good this item is, to be very honest, but uh, I don't really see it used a lot. So I would say it's it's a pass for me, okay? If you play around with the paralyzed uh, effect, you may want to get this, otherwise you can skip it. Alright, so on to the next part, Stolen Fruitcake. Okay, so that was a ridiculously long quest with a bunch of retro monsters. I don't know if this is the boss, but I'm going to assume it is, okay? Ancient Fruitcake Zard. So let's go into our water armor first. And let's get this started, okay. Paralyzed, dang it. That is not good. Okay, so I want to hit him with light or 
fire. Yeah, oh my god, this guy has so many freaking... Like, oh, fire. Yeah, earth will do fine. Now, because there is a chance that I might get paralyzed, I sort of don't want to take the risk and do dodge slash. I don't know if the paralyzed will inflict if you... Uh, even if the attack misses, but I don't want to take the chance. I really, really don't want to die right now. So I'm just going to play it safe here, and I'm going to use silver. No, we'll do Law Master Tome. Yeah, to remember that I have this spell here that can do harm damage. Okay, so yeah, I guess we don't really need to do Purple Rain after all. Yeah, it's pretty easy, Law Master Tome. Okay. Man, this spell is a godsend. There were also a few times when I faced Gologals in the previous one of the previous quests. Those are a real cancer to deal with if you don't have a harm spell because of their stupid resistances. Skip, skip, skip. And for warriors and rangers, uh, not spells, then you have your weapons. Lots of weapons nowadays actually have a harm toggle, so I guess that's kind of good. Please tell me that is the boss. Come on. So everything is very retro inside of this quest. Yes. Yes, coming next week. What now? Okay, the shop. So first off, we have the shield here. Fruitcake Reef. Okay, it's a Mastercraft water shield that regains, that regens SP every turn. 11 at level 150. And that is triple when the monster doesn't attack. So you gain 11 SP every turn and when the monster doesn't attack for whatever reason whether it's fear, paralyzed or whatnot you get you heal 33 SP each turn that is uh, absolutely lackluster like it's a guaranteed heal but uh, it's the, the amount is just too too little to even be useful so big skip Pets, on the other hand, this one, Fruitcake Zard, is the Mastercraft Water Pet that can shift between a pure damage mode with a plus 5% damage Mastercraft and a paralyzed mode that can pay 50% damage to have a 37% chance to inflict a one turn paralyzed. Now, I think I missed out on this pet in the past if I'm not wrong, so yeah. I don't have this pet. Okay, so thankfully they returned uh, this painting. So this is actually the one painting. Okay, I don't know if there are others uh, later on, but this is actually the one painting that I have. A legitimate use for to go ahead and buy because I missed out this very good pet and this is the best paralyzed pet in the entire game okay so you definitely want to buy fruitcake zart so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that okay so if you're playing a beastmaster build a paralyzed uh, effect type of build then this will be fantastic so we'll rename this because I'm OCD and there we are finally I got it I miss I can't believe I missed this out that uh, when this came out like silly silly me okay so even the freaking text box here is in the old <laughs> is in the retro style okay so now we'll go on to the next one which is safe frost veil okay so right off the bat I'm getting this bouncing fruit cake slime I don't know if this is the boss so I'm just gonna showcase it if it's not then uh yeah I'll just leave it in anyway so let's go ahead and see Fruitcake Coal TM Slime. Okay, so it's... Oh, very weak to energy. That is nice. Earth is 100%. So yeah, energy would do really good against it. Let's do... Let's bring out Meteor Jelly. Let's have him heal our MP weapons. We can use Silver Lightning Rod. And yeah, this will do a lot of damage. Alright. Awesome. Okay, I can live with that. Chain Lightning. No boosters. Probably could one-shot him with boost, to be honest, but I'm not gonna bother. Not really a tough boss. You could dodge slash this guy as well, but I don't really think it's worth the time since he has 200% to energy. Most straightforward method is to just nuke him down with energy. Okay, there we are. Three Z tokens. Oh, okay, that's not the boss. Alright, I'll pause the video. Okay, so I think this is the final boss, Stolen. Okay, so let's see. Tricked into... Oh my lord! Oh my god! What the heck? 
Oh man, that was disgusting, dude. Energy nuke, really? On a water element monster? Wow, that was so so dirty. God damn it. And that was a long quest. Not super long, but yeah, the monsters had pretty high HP. Wow. God damn it. By the way, guys, a uh, quick update on the time. It's like 10.55 right now so yeah over an hour has passed and i know it's like only 30 minutes into the video and this is only like the second year and we're not even <laughs> done yet so let me pause the video once again and we'll get back to you when we face stolen okay time for the meet rematch uh let's go uh questers heavy gunner okay so the regular attack the sp attack is energy all right so you gotta keep that in mind man i really hate these kind of monsters Okay, so now that that's out of the way, Papa Rain, we're gonna do all of our boosts here. Earth is 30%, we'll take that. Una Poka as well. Oops, oh, we have already done that. Oops, a daisy. Imano. Man, I really hope we can dodge his attack if he. His attacks hit you and get one shot. At, I, I am going to be really pissed here. Okay, big dictionary. We'll do pig drake here. Let's see. Essence orb. More clicks. These work. Nice. Shadow feeder one turn. Okay. Uh, actually, we don't really need that yet. So let's do panoply. Okay. And we'll do damage here, purple rain. Come on. Come on. Alright. Now we do weapons, Lawmaster Tome. We take this away. Oh god, I forgot to do the Bright Slayer dog. That's okay though, that's okay. I'm not losing out a lot of damage since the ice resist is like 20%. Please tell me he's gonna miss. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay, that, that was pretty easy, assuming you can survive the first energy nuke and not be a complete idiot like me. Stolen! Okay, down. That should be the end of that. More dialogue, which we are going to skip. Hello? Oh, okay. War chest. Okay. Okay, so we have Fruitcake Fury over here, the spell. It's a Mastercraft water spell that pays 29.75% damage for a hits over 4 chance to inflict a 1 turn paralyze. 1 turn only? Yeah, not, not that great, so I'm going to pass. If you have things that synergize with paralyze, I guess it's okay, but you have better uh, paralysis-like effects or stun-like effects in the game. Like Fear is a very good example, that is like way better than... Uh, paralyzed in my opinion so yeah you can you know pass up on that fruit cake brick so mastercraft water miscellaneous item that pays hp to regen sp 37 hp for 54 sp at level 150 unlike essence orb this conversion only happens once per turn so i guess this could be good once essence orb gets nerfed but before that uh literally no reason to use this item whatsoever stick with essence orb Okay, now the last one, gift delivery. I'm assuming gift delivery is only one monster. We'll see. Man, I wish there was a way to disable the stupid photo scrolling. Like, it's so laggy when you have so many photos. God damn it. Oh my god, you are kidding me. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, did I click on the wrong one? Silly me. Wait, no. Apparently, it's the correct one. It's just that it's the same fight? Uh, what? Yeah, it's the it's the same freaking fight, I think. I don't really think there's anything new here. So, he does this. And then, we can hit him with... Oh, it's not going to be great. Okay, so we'll switch to water here. I guess you can just nuke him. Yeah, you can just nuke him. 
Royal Cake. Uh, let's do Purple Rain. Yeah, so for this boss, the easiest way would be to just nuke the guy. How many? We only got one turn, that's fine. Too lazy to get more. Let's do Arcane M, let's do Una Poka. Then we can do Bag of Mixed Nuts. Come on. Okay, nice. So we want to nuke him with light damage. And I'm going to do Fidget Saw Backdoor. I'm not going to bother with Generalist's ropes. I think we'll just nuke him in this. This should be fine. 6,500 HP. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, one hit miss. Dang. Okay. Oh, Pet is dealing quite a lot of damage. Nice. And let's see here. Attack again. And this should finish him off. Alright, so once again, we get to fight Zorbeck in the gift delivery finale. I mistakenly thought... I clicked on the wrong year's one, but apparently it was the correct one. It's just that it's the same thing all over again. Yeah, exactly the same. I don't know why. But you know, not complaining. One simple boss fight isn't too bad. Yes, yeah, Sage Udor, blah blah blah. All of this. So let's see what's inside here. Frostville 15 Commemorative Spoon. Okay, it's a 100 proc Ice Magic 1 with a 20 proc Juice Special. Honestly, why do Wand Mages exist? Sorry, I, I just have a hard time wrapping my head around the, the thought of like a 100 proc Wand Mage user. Like, what exactly do you use uh, apart from 100 proc Wands? Like, do you cast spells or something like that? Like, how, how is this build good? Can can someone let me know? Like, this build is about as common as a fully offensive ranger build. Okay? No offense to people playing this build, but seriously, I don't understand. What, what What is good or fun about this build? Am I missing something here? If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, uh, Fruitcake Berserker. Mastercraft fully offensive water armor that deals plus 2.5% damage on attacks. Uh, half for spells and four third for magic attacks. Which is triple if the monster hadn't attacked the last round. Not worth, honestly, simply because uh, your all oh, the ar armors today give a much better boost than that. Like most notably your blood zerker armor. So yeah, this is a big pass for me. Right, so nothing really worth getting in this quest. And finally, we'll go to Frostville, twenty sixteen. Save the sweaters. Okay, so I think this is the boss here, a cozy zombie giant. So let's get this started. Okay, uh. You know what, I think we'll just nuke the guy. Yeah, I think we'll just nuke the guy. I'm not even gonna bother with the freaking purple rain and all that. Yeah, this this should be easy. And I have no idea why this thing is lagging like crap again. Okay, the staff supposedly fixed it and uh, NIVP supposedly fixed it as well. But yeah, now it's back to this. Freaking laggy mess, and I do not know why. Maybe you can't use the two together. Hold on, let me see here. Uh, it doesn't really change anything, does it? Okay, I think it's even slower with the freaking... By turning that off, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's still lagging like crazy right now. I, I have no idea why. I thought the staff fixed it already. Uh, oh well. Guess they need to fix it again. Okay, and this is a pretty easy boss. I wouldn't even consider it tough at all. Doesn't do a lot of damage or any damage at all, to be honest. And yeah, he's pretty e nukeable with light. So you can do that and he should go down just fine. There we go. Oh, that's not the boss. This is... Oh, Carbros is the boss. Okay. Okay, okay, Carbros. Yeah, Carbros can be a bit tough. Ooh, okay. So for Carbros... Hmm. For Carbros... I think for Carbros, we want to try Dodge. I hope 
we will be able to dodge everything if we don't then yeah we're going to be in a bit of trouble here out of sp already dang i haven't done this yet right yep uh code konami as well So I want all the defense buffs possible when facing Kabros because I don't know how his his attacks are going to hit super hard. If he manages to land one through, we, it might be the end of us. So yeah, I want to be very careful with Kabros here. Pendant. Okay, nice. We got it. Um, bag of mixed nuts. This one will do walnuts. <coughs> Pets will do the pig drake pet. <coughs> and then we'll do big dictionary shields titans fall purple rain on this back okay i think we should be fine hold on did we get that walnuts again oh okay i already did that okay okay bright slayer dog Ice is 80%, won't be that much damage, but you know what, it's better than nothing. Weapons will do Lawmaster Tome, let's nuke him with Light. So he'll go down a bit faster. Yeah, so if you don't want to dodge slash him, I guess you can just nuke him as well. He doesn't exactly have a lot of HP. Two turns with a regular nuke should kill him. So yeah. Okay, that, that was pretty easy, not too tough. Nice. Okay, let's see what we have for this quest. Yes. I'm kind of thinking if I should split this video into two parts. Sorry, 42 minutes in and we are only at like 2016. The first out of the three parts of 2016. Okay. And this is with me cutting through all the crap. Only adding in like the items and the... Uh, boss fights okay so first of all cozy fazet mogu this is a mastercraft fire shield as a toggle to pay 50 percent melee in sp to reduce incoming damage by something something percent note that the shield only goes up to minus 25 percent to fire at level 150 this in my opinion is one of the best uh fire shields for reducing damage in the entire game period and i will still be using it now if it weren't for titans 4 and the dodge slash build so yeah i highly recommend everyone to get this shield uh, so this quest actually does have some good items. Cozy Firebat Swarm Mastercraft Fire Spell that spends the Mastercraft to inflict a 3 turn uh, death loss. Okay, not useful at all. So skip. Miscellaneous item. Cozy Fire Out. Okay, this is another very good item. It's a mis Mastercraft Fire Miscellaneous item that boosts the damage and BTH of fire attacks and provides 35, 35, 25, 25 in Strength, Intellect, Charisma and Luck respectively. So you're getting a boost to 4. Stats, a grand total of 70 plus 50, 120 to your stat boost, guys. That is crazy. 120 total stats from this alone. The boost to BTH is not half for spells and not boosted for magic attacks. Since this is an offensive elemental miscellaneous item, it doesn't provide defense against fire attacks. But you know what? This is one of the best uh, fire boosting miscellaneous items in the entire game. So this quest you have the shield and the miscellaneous items that are very very good pickup so definitely want to get uh go ahead do this quest and pick these two items up all right next part attack of the sweater zombies okay i think this is the boss here cozy zombie chili let's go so we are going to go first and we can just nuke him with light is this just another regular zombie monster with a ton of hp i don't know man any special effects? Okay, MRM is pretty high. But, uh... Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Brains. Frozen brains. Oh, God. Okay. Can hit very, very hard for darkness. Granted, that was a lucky strike, but dang. Who? Uh, okay, I guess he's a freaking tank as well as a 
freaking damage dealer as well. So you want to nuke him down as quickly as you can. You can dodge slash him. I'm not gonna bother. Okay, damage wise, uh, the nuke is the one that you have to watch out for. Other than that, not too bad. Okay, ideally you want to kill him before he gets his second nuke. Either that or you can just, you know, drain his SP with like Underwormling so he doesn't get it. Wait, was Underwormling even <laughs> released at this point? Which year was Underwormling released again? I can't even remember. This was from 2016. I think Underwormling wasn't out yet. But yeah. Okay, so I think that's the boss. Hopefully that's the boss. Alright. Nice. What do we have here? Weapons, uh, cozy... Warhammer, Spear, and Staff. 20 prop, Mastercraft, Fire, Hammer. There's a 42 times 5 resist percent chance to inflict sleep on a on special. The monster has sleep already. This turns into a basic plus 5% damage Mastercraft. Same for all of the items. Okay, for all three of the items here. The effect is the same. Numbers are a bit different. Uh, melee range magic. Would I say it's worth picking up? Mm, no. Yeah, so this is based off the sleep effect, not really worth picking up. Cozy Goblin, Mastercraft Fire Pet that can toggle between a pure damage mode, with a plus 4.25 BTH Mastercraft, and a status mode that inflicts a one turn. Uh, unlucky, okay. Unlucky, is unlucky a good status effect? Eh, not really, I wouldn't really say this is like worth picking up either. So yeah, this is a big skip. Okay, now for the last part, gift delivery. If it's Zorbeck again, I'm not going to showcase it, alright? Not Zorbeck this time, here. the Cozy Zombie Rain Dragon. Okay, let's see what this guy can do. Looks like Blastom ch chose poorly. He probably won't be competing in the Rain Dragon games this year. No idea what that means, but okay. We'll do Doomquake Minions instead, so we can get rid of that stupid lag. Okay, this is a lot better. Uh, 8,000 HP. Can you get with light or earth? What I am lazy, so we'll just do the standard nuking and let's see what special effects he has. Shouldn't really be anything special to be honest. Oh, let might as well show off the cake now, right? It's healing, blocking, shield, charge in battle, celerity, strength, intellect. Let's do celerity. You eat a slice of layer cake. Everything seems the same. Wait, the heck? Oh, the celebrity is not 100% chance or what? Uh-huh, okay, I think the celebrity isn't 100% chance. Well, that freaking sucks. Uh, yeah, okay, celebrity did freaking nothing. Intellect. 142 intellect, ooh. Okay, this, this could be good. The stat boost is pretty huge. More so than Arcane M, so yeah, the stat boost is actually not bad. Okay, just freaking disappointed by the... What do you call that? The celerity thing. Healing? Blocking? Shield? Let's do healing. 1-2-1, one, one. eat a slice of angel food cake and the heavenly taste heals you. It's like a 100 plus HP heal. Yeah, that's kinda bad. Pretty freaking bad. Now he has the SP attack. Covered in zombie and powered flames. I don't really care. Uh, there's blocking as well. Smooth as velvet. 14 to blocking. I guess it's okay for dodge builds, but then again, why would you ever want to use this over like Bun Banneret, New Year's Ball even, or like your Twisted Pig Drake, considering you need to charge this item. So yeah. No, just no. Okay, what else do we have here? Shield. Pair to soak up damage. Element shield. Okay, so we, you get like, uh, the enemy will hit you for like 83% of the total damage, which is okay. It's not too bad, but it's really nothing fantastic either. Oh, no, very good versatile pet, but is it worth the Z token package? I don't really know. Oh, there's another one. Carbros. Okay, let's fight Carbros. Oh, lord. Wow, this guy hits hard. Purple rain here. Let's see. Arcane M. Yeah, let's go ahead and nuke this guy before he kills us. You can dodge slash him too if you want to, but I'm not gonna bother. Crush. Yes, we got it. 
try and get some shadow feeder turns in. One. You know what? I think that's enough. Uh, light. Okay, light, light, light. Shields will do Celtic view. Okay. So back door here. Right, let's see how much damage we can do. Oh, very nice. Uh, I think one more ought to kill him. I'm gonna take the risk here. Yeah, okay, he should die. Yep, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> let's see what we have inside here. Weapons, Frostwell 16 Commemorative Spoon, same as the 2015 Commemorative Spoon but Darkness Element. Okay, for the other one, Sweater Dragon Mount. It's a Mastercraft Fire Armor that toggles between fully offensive when mounted with a plus 4.25 BTH Mastercraft and fully defensive dismounted with a 3 point, minus 3.5% 3 damage taken Mastercraft. Uh, yeah. If you're fully defensive build, I guess this is an okay armor. But fully offensive wise, yeah, I really don't want this. Even fully defensive, will this be useful? Minus 3.5%, minus 3.57% damage. Like, that is like literally not even, I don't know, man. 3% is just so bad. So yeah, probably a skip. Okay, now moving on to 2017, I guess. Hold on. Okay, so actually no freaking um, boss fight for this one. Just two super tanky monsters. That's the quest. Okay, so for the weapons, Broken Ice Blade, 20 proc, Mastercraft Ice Mini Sword that inflicts uh, 0.38 times hit over 3 bleed on special. Not worth. Next up, spells. We have the Headless Toy Soldier. Mastercraft Earth Gas with plus 5% damage. Mastercraft each hit. Has a one quarter chance of automatically missing. Wait, what? So each hit does more damage to compensate. What the heck? Uh, no, no, not worth, not worth. Legless Elf, uh, Mastercraft, Wind or Light Pad that toggles between pure damage mode with plus 5% damage, Mastercraft and status mode that inflicts a one turn something something defense loss. Again, uh, not worth as well. Alright, so let's move on to the next part. Okay, so there's some navigating uh, to do for this quest and there's only like two routes that give you rewards. So the first route that we are going to go uh, gives you a water spell called the Lagoon Leviathan Blast and you can go to this by going uh, right. Oh, a monster. And then right again, okay. So I'm not going to skip this part because it's literally just two screens. That will make the video a little bit longer but eh, what the heck. This will probably be like a two hour long video. I have no idea how long the render times are going to be. Uh, <laughs> I hope I can sleep tonight. If I don't, I'll probably just leave it running the whole night and like upload it in the morning. The upload time will probably be pretty crazy on this as well. But you know what, we'll see. Uh, let me see here. Weapons. We got healing branch. Time check. It's eleven fifty one now. So yeah, more than two hours have passed, and we are on year twenty seventeen. Okay, so we still got twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen, and twenty twenty. Three more years after this, <laughs> to go through. This is a very long quest by the way because of how many things there are inside of this quest <clears throat> Whew, 1249 <clears throat> I think they just draw mana here Oh, come on, miss. Wow, you, you gotta be kidding me, man. Really. 
Please don't freaking miss again, I swear to god. Okay, there we go. Hydra! Wait, how many are there? How many freaking... Okay, you know what? I'll just pause it. Okay, Lagoon Leviathan. The Leviathan holds absolute control over the storm through sheer power. She doesn't need any of the submission of the masses. Thomas Hobbes nonsense. She just eats anyone who disagrees with her, especially annoying philosophy grads. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll do dodge slash for this one. And it's going to nuke with some SP attack later on, which I don't know what element it is, but I hope we don't get to find out either. <coughs> okay, that is successful. Please. Nope. Unfortunate. That's alright. Ooh, one try. Ex excellent, excellent. Okay, Walnuts here, Ghost Costume, Titans Fall. Uh, ice, only 85%, but better than nothing. Let's do this. And Purple Rain. Okay, I think we should be ready for whatever attack is coming our way. Chain Lightning. <coughs> so to reach this guy, just go right two times. Oh, okay. Two misses. Awesome. Only one hit? Come on, hit more. Hit more so I can dodge slash you more. Oh, okay. One, three, three. Alright, that's the end of him. Okay, Lagoon Leviathan Blast is the Mastercraft water spell of a Mastercraft to have a 25% chance <coughs> to deal extra 20% damage. Okay, so this one, uh, I would say is the best free to play damaging water spell for fully offensive mages okay if you're if you there are way better water spells out there if you're like a pay to win player like your hydromancer blood mage has a better one you you know there's one in the z token package called the cyceros explosive teleport booth yeah if you're a pay to win player there are way better options out there than this one but if you're a free to play player then this is probably your best bet Okay, and by free to play, I mean you at least have 2,000 tokens to buy the painting to get this spell, alright? So now you want to head back. Oh god, we have to fight again. Okay, so you head back to the starting point, and the next one from the starting point is you're supposed to go right once, and then go up once, go right... One, two, three, four... Go right five more times, go up two more times, okay? And that will unlock the rest of the shop. So I'll come back once I reach that place okay because this is probably going to be super long okay so i don't know if this is the boss or not but seriously aq stuff what the heck were y'all thinking when y'all made this quest were y'all even freaking thinking at all like seriously dude what the hell is this quest a freaking maze you have to fight two monsters every single room you go through and this freaking end of the maze is all the way at the 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 end of the quest is all the way at the end of the maze. What the heck were you all thinking? What you all even thinking? Oh, this is the most torturous quest I have ever had the displeasure of going through. Oh man. So long and so torturous. Dude, I swear to god, if I die now, I I am gonna freaking rage. So bad. Oh, and he hits with uh, two elements. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That is fine. <clears throat> At least they don't really do that much damage. So, yeah, I'm actually okay with that. So I don't know if this is the boss and we'll go ahead and see if the items are worth it or not. Probably not, but you know, I'll, I'll go through them later. 
Oh, they're doing some very weird things now. Uh oh, I hope they don't nuke and kill us in one hit or something. Okay, now it's doing double light. Okay, that's good. <coughs> Okay, nice. Got him. Yes, yes, yes. God damn it. Whew. Okay, end of this quest. Uh, took a lot longer than it was supposed to because I was dumb and not following the right directions but yeah that's totally on me but still even if you follow the right directions it was a ridiculously long quest okay so the tangled gnome blade gnome chucks and gnome staff all zero proc mastercraft light weapons mastercraft used for a 50 percent chance to apply a one turn uh light elemental vulnerability is this good one turn light elemental vulnerability i guess so I guess it could be good if you like to stack elemental vulnerability. I know a lot of uh, some of you guys in my comment section below. I know you guys like to play the elemental vulnerability, the elemental vulnerability build. Uh, light elemental vulnerability is quite rare, but for those of you guys who like to play or experiment with this particular build, I guess it's decent. Okay, chaser bracer, mastercraft light shield. <coughs> mastercraft used to apply a minus twenty eight point five seven times hit. Over attempted BTH blind when a monster misses its last attack. Now here's the here's the problem I have with this shield. Okay, you inflict a blind, but only if the monster missed on the previous turn. So meaning to say you either had to already have a strong blind on the monster on the previous turn, or you had to already have like very high MRM. This is supposed to be good for dodge builds, but the fact that you already need to have you need to have already dodged the last attack before this shield actually becomes useful. It's kind of counterintuitive, you know what I mean? So yeah, I can't really recommend this and I don't really see what the point of this, the, the mechanic of this item is either. So yeah, pass for me, okay? And now we will play through the last part which is the gift delivery. Alright, so here we have Captain Jingles. Okay, so light. He can do that. Oh, he hits with energy too. Oh my god. Okay, so we just nuke him. I think that's the most straightforward way of dealing with this guy. Uh, you could dodge slash him as well. Would be good to dodge slash because he hits with two elements. But I'm just going to go nuke because I think that's the fastest way. Okay, and this video is already super long as it is. I don't know if I want to split it up into two parts. Probably not, but... I don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight either. It's like 12.55 a.m. already. Like, holy crap. I've been doing this since 9 p.m., guys. 9.35 p.m. And it's like 12.55 a.m. right now. And I'm like barely halfway through the covering everything else. I don't know how long the other half is going to take. If it's gonna take another three hours, then... Whew, good luck to me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I don't know if I really want to stay up and do this all the way because yeah right now i i'm just not feeling it man not really feeling it let's do that uh generalist do this we just have him do the regular slice and dice and then we'll do Zorbeck door. And yeah, shields, Celtic wheel. And I think we can nuke now, destruction burst. Okay, nice. One shot. Okay, one shot. Excellent. Oh, another boss. Moon chaser. Okay, you get a full heal for that. Okay, so light. Let's go into our light armor. 12,000 HP. Oh man, oh, this guy is a tanky thick boy. Rule of the Island of Misfit Toys, Moon Chaser is a powerful being capable of wielding a variety of elements in battle. Oh, okay, so we don't want to deal with that. Uh, yeah, let's do Dodge Slash for this one then. Yep, I think Dodge Slash will be good for this. Let's do that. 
shields, he'll do Titan's Fall. Armor will be Ghost Costume. Shadow Feeder, get one turn. Okay. Power Gauntlet. Yes, we got it. Mix Nuts. Wall. Uh, pets will do the Pig Drake for the defense boost. Then we can do... What else do we need to do here? Oh my god, I can't remember. Oh yeah, Big Dictionary. Panoply. Yeah, my mind is like a power of mush right now because of how freaking long the quest is and how I've been here for over 3 hours. Oh. Whew. Bright Slayer Duck. And I think we are good to go, right? 48.3. He shouldn't be hitting true. If he hits true, then yeah, I guess that's just bad luck on our part. Okay, nice. Nice damage. Oh yeah, he's hitting with a whole crap ton of elements. So yeah, dodge lash is the way to go, that's for sure. Also, MRM also pretty high, so yeah, that's certainly not something you want. Okay, nice. The fact that he's hitting with many elements many, many times is good for us because it means that we are able to, you know, uh, dodge more. And when you dodge more, it means we'll be able to lash more as well, which is really good. Okay, only one hit there. That was bad. Why do you only do one hit? Come on. Uh, let's see. Refresh our dodge. Okay. That's the one hit again. Come on, do your freaking multi-hit attack. Where is it? Where's the multi-hit attack? Come on. So there's no point trying to, you know, uh, defend against him for too long. You either dodge slash all the way or you just try and nuke him as quickly as you can because there's no way you can predict what element he's going to use and it's completely random. And also, he has 12,000 health, so yeah. Uh, not going to be that easy to nuke him down. Oh, finally. Okay, but he's dead. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's see what we have for the reward. Come on. Moon Chaser Rider is a Mastercraft fully offensive light armor with a Mastercraft to deal plus 3.33% damage per each of the following status effects on the monster. Blind elemental vulnerab vulnerability, defense loss, or choke. Good for people who like to play status effects, you can get up to like 1, 2, 3, 4, like extra 12% damage on the armor, but still, you know, outclassed by stuff like Blood Zerker, Blood Major, so... Uh, if you have those, then you can skip this. Otherwise, I would say it's a decent, decent pickup for people who like to play status effects. If you don't like to play status effects, then skip this. Okay, Ornament, Golem, Assault. Mastercraft Light Spell that spends 55% damage to inflict a 4 turn uh, Light Resist something something choke. Alright, so it's a spell that inflicts choke. If you like to play with that effect, you can get it, otherwise skip. Crack Tournament, miscellaneous item that gives plus 10 generic status potency if out leveling formula applied. Gives 10.29 at level 150 due to out leveling. So this is a really good item and this is a must pick up in my opinion. So uh, if you're playing any sort of statuses inside of your build, then you definitely want this item. This works for all statuses, which is why uh, it makes this such a good item. So this is one of the must pickups in my opinion. Like the rest of the items, they are good for certain builds, but this is like good for most builds okay so yeah this one is a must to pick up 2018 nightmare before frostville thankfully this is a really short quest in fact it's a war maybe that's why it's so short but uh good improvement from last year's cancer so thankfully thankfully for that okay so let's switch to neko mecha lot let's see what this guy can do so water or wind he doesn't really have a lot of damage, so that's fine, I guess. Pets. Yeah, I guess we'll stick to water. 
And I don't really think we need to do anything special against him. Uncle Shams surprisingly reluctant assistant. He may not want to do the job, but I still putting his all into beating you. Oh god. Okay, and he has a nuke coming up. Hmm. Okay, nuke. I don't wanna deal with that. Let's do this. Let's empower. Let's do gauntlet. Alright, so now we try and kill him this turn. So we don't have to deal with whatever it is he has coming up. Okay, good. Nightmare Queen. Oh, okay, okay. There's another boss here. Nightmare Queen. Okay, so this one, Obsidian Cloak. Alright, let's see what she can do. Weak to light and fire. Alright, earth and water is not that great. We'll do earth instead. Pets, we can do light or fire. Let's do fire. And let's try and stop her from using her SP attack, alright? Weapons, uh, we can just do destruction burst, I guess. 8,496, that's not a lot of HP. Considering her resistance is 150%, so shouldn't be too big of a problem there. And yeah, she doesn't do a lot of damage if you have good darkness resist. So yeah, as long as she doesn't use her SP attack, you're fine. Oh, she can do ice damage as well. I thought that was just for SP attack. Apparently not. But yeah, we should still be okay. Alright, so now we do Essence Orb. Pixel so either. And then uh, we don't need this anymore. Come on, stop missing, damn it. Not enough again, dang. Okay, pixel either. Convert, convert, convert. Miss, again, come on. Okay, one more destruction burst ought to do it, I think. Please. Please, please, one more destruction burst, please do it. Okay, I think the pet and the guest should be able to finish it off. Yep, alright, we got it. Nice. Easy. Even though I said I would dodge slash all the bosses, but come on, this, this video is taking way too long for that. Okay, that is done. For Nightmare Before Frostville, let's see what we have here. Oh, Cratchit. It's an ice pet. Mastercraft at 1.5 times pet lucky strike rate. Uh, decent for Beast Masters. If you just... For, want to focus purely on damage I guess this is a good ice pet right and miscellaneous item oh frigid zorback dog it's a mastercraft offensive ice mist that increases charisma and luck by 50 each and increases ice damage also compresses an ice spell so this is great for tome majors I am using the, <laughs> the item inside of my build so yeah you can tell that it's actually a pretty good item so yeah good items inside here you can pick them up if they suit your build okay now the next part a sham and for the boss of this year we have mr frostville okay so we want to go into a fire armor he used to be a void boss but it seems that they've taken him out already okay uh mechanics should be the same so yeah just go ahead and nuke him uh with ice or darkness either one will do fine let's do that Already out of SP. Pets, uh, we we'll just do this. Power gauntlet, please work. Yes. Now we try and get a few shadow feeder pendant turns. Yeah, okay, we got it. That's more than enough. Damage, purple rain. Then we try, just try and nuke this guy down, okay? Generalist. Imbue. This should take one turn, hopefully. Destruction burst. Nice. Okay, there we go. Skip through all of these. Let's 
Skip, skip, skip. More stuff. Oh, Nightmare King. Okay, another boss here. Okay, this one, you want to go Obsidian Cloak. And let's start. Oh, you can hit with Ice too. I almost forgot. Okay, so for this guy, I guess you can nuke as well. Yeah, nuking is the most straightforward. See here, light or fire. Earth, earth will do fine. Okay, we'll do our royal cake here. Nice, it worked. Shadow feeder, one round should be enough. Okay. Purple rain. Let's see what our kid can give us. Intellect? Oh boy, our intellect is through the roof right now. Yeah, there's there's no... This this new is like the, the strongest. Like we have over 500 intellect or something. Is there, is there even a cap on that? I don't think there's a cap, right? Yeah, this one should do a ton of damage. Okay, uh, let me see here. Law Master Tome. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. A little bit disappointing, but you know what? It's fine. I was expecting a bit more damage, but that's all right. Obsidian cloak. I guess uh, you will reach a certain point whereby the damage uh just doesn't go up by that much, even after you increase your stats. So yeah, the pet and guess should be able to finish him off though. Yep, easy. Is there more nightmare bishop? Another one, this isn't a boss, right? Hold on. Bank of Nightmares. Not sure if this is a boss, but uh, he kind of looks like one. So we'll cover this. Obsidian Cloak. Let's start. Okay, fire or light. Then let's do... Let's try and nuke as well. 13,000 HP. I really don't want to play dodge with a 13,000 HP monster. Let's see. Spells... Fire, okay, that means you can nuke with destruction burst. Earth will be alright, but it will be better if we do water, so let's do water. Oh, okay. Power gauntlet didn't work there, that sucks. Let's see, how many turns can we get? No turns yet. Dang. Three rounds, okay. Three rounds should be more than sufficient, I think. And now we are going to do generalist first. Imbue. And then we do Zorback Door and Destruction Burst. Oh, nice. Okay, so we switch back to Obsidian Cloak. And then we do Destruction Burst one more time. Yep, okay, we cut down about half his HP, that's pretty good. And he has a SP attack coming up, which I don't know what in the world it is, and I don't want to find out either, so... Hopefully we can kill him this turn, if we can't, then yeah, we are going to have to find out what the SP attack is. Which hopefully he doesn't one-shot me or something crazy like that. See how much MP am I going to need here? 2000? I think that should be enough, right? Shields. Okay, that didn't do as much damage, damage as I thought it would. A uh, little bit unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, please, please tell me you can kill this guy. <sighs> we really need to kill this guy. Come on, I don't want to find out what his stupid attack is. Oh god, we're not going to be able to kill him. Yeah, okay. Please let it be darkness. If it's not darkness, I'm dead. 
eyes. Oh god, there were so many hits. By a miraculous stroke of luck, we survived. Awesome. Okay, let's drink a health pot. Let's drink a mana pot. Okay, I think we just want more destruction burst or to do him in. And the pet goes, the gas goes, okay, nice. Got him. Another boss? I think there's one more boss. Oh wait, no, okay, maybe that's for the gift delivery. Shams offhand blunderbuss. Okay, so this is a very special uh, Mastercraft Ice Shield that gives an auto hit attack of your weapon element that is equal to uh, your lucky shark hits, blah blah blah. Okay, so this is actually good if you want to maximize your damage in like offensive builds. Uh, but it only triggers after you land a lucky shark. So if you want to do the uh, ferocious crown with the hypercritical shenanigans, then this will be good for increasing your damage even further. And it's an auto hit, so that's kind of good. Similar to like uh, how you're using the... not Okay, not similar at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is good for upping your damage if you're playing with the hypercritical status. Okay, otherwise you can pass this up. Okay, so it was a simple Captain Jingles fight. I didn't expect that to the to be the final boss, but yeah, apparently it was. He hits with random elements, I think, and he has about six thousand HP. So just nuke him down, and you should be done. First real eighteen commemorative spoon again, another freaking spoon. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that unless you're one build. Festive Leprechaun. This one, uh, Mastercraft fully offensive ice armor with a Mastercraft for one point five times lucky strike rate. So. If you like to play uh, with the Lucky Strikes, you have the Ferocious Crown, I think this will be a good armor. We don't really have a lot of fully offensive ice armors in the game to my knowledge, so this could actually be worth a pickup. Deploy Tree, the best, uh, it's a Mastercraft Ice Spell with Mastercraft for 1.5 times Lucky Strike rate. This is the best uh, free to play Ice Spell in the game, so if you're a free to play player, and if you don't have the, what do you call it? Uh, what's the Burst Ice Spell? Arctic Tornado. Uh, Z token package spell, then this is your best bet. So, you want to get the deploy tree. Very, very powerful spell, in my opinion. Okay, so exit, and that is it for 2018. Okay, it's 1 35 a.m. right now. 10, 11, 12, 1. Four hours since I freaking started the whole thing. Okay, and the video is probably like close to one and a half hours long. Okay, Frostville 2019, a song of ice and thunder. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, you know what? Okay, I, I am really like super tired right now. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, cut the video right here and I'm going to continue when I wake up tomorrow morning. So after I record finish everything, which should take probably about another half, probably another hour or so. And then uh, I'm going to have to render everything, which will probably take like four hours and then uploading will probably take another hour or something like that so yeah tomorrow's video this video is going to come out late probably come out during afternoon my time really sorry for the long wait guys but this is a very long video after all okay so i'll catch you guys in the morning okay good morning guys all right so 2019 frostville a song of ice and thunder the first one the ballad of the chosen let's see what we have here it's a miscellaneous item the uh belagus omen Alright, Mastercraft Offensive Energy Miscellaneous Item that increases energy damage and charges 20% melee in SP to inflict a 4 turn. Okay, hits over attempts, power, burn. Mastercraft reduces damage taken by 7.14% when the monster is afflicted by a burn. So this is actually quite a decent item. Is it worth doing the quest for the pickup? Uh, if you want to do energy nuking, I guess so. And if you want to play with like a burn style build like an energy burn style build then this will be great for you to use so for 2019 the frostville set uh is centered around the burn okay energy burn status effect so if you guys like to play a status effect then you want to pick up uh this painting 2019's painting to get the items okay so the previous quest i just realized that i forgot to showcase the boss is basically just frost giant commander a regular frost giant with a bit more health and a bit more damage so really nothing much to show off there so for this next quest the test of thunder we have ofnir lying thunder this is the boss there are a few options which you can choose uh i choose to go for the boss straight away since this is the shortest path okay so let's see what you can do
probably gonna try and dodge slash my way out of this hopefully it doesn't uh, inflict some sort of energy burn at the start otherwise we don't really want to dodge slash okay nice so we got to drop him, him so what i'm going to do is purple rain first obviously then we can do arcane amp you can do our usual setup uh into dodge slash and hopefully he won't be able to hit so at this point of time, Dodge Slash isn't even a much of a build yet. In fact, Dodge Slash only became a build like last year. So I don't think they have any auto hit capabilities for all of the bosses. So this should be a pretty easy job for Dodge Slash, assuming you can dodge everything, right? Okay, boost our defense. Let's get a bit more of this. Power Gauntlet, Crush. Oh, Yandiot, that sucks. That's alright though, Titans 4, toggle this on, and then let's see here, I want to do Bag of Mixed Nuts, Walnuts, Shadow Feeder, you just need one turn, nope. Nope, nope, wow dang, okay Shadow Feeder's not cooperating here, this is not great, please. Okay, finally, one. That's all we need. That is all we need. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll do Panoply first. And then we'll do Purple Rain to get everything back. This guy is weaker to water, so Tidal Pirate will work better here. And his Ice Resist is negative, so we don't want to use Bright Slayer Duck. Okay, so we'll just do it without Bright Slayer Duck. That is alright. And let's see, defense boost is up there. Yep, it should be good to go. So now what you want to do is hit him with water. Alright. Water, we got a healing branch here. If he hits through and inflicts some sort of energy burn, we have this uh curative waters to get rid of the status, hopefully. I mean ideally he won't hit through with any energy burn of anything, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, nice it didn't hit and next turn he's going to do his sp attack i'm not too worried okay i don't think he should be able to hit true even if he does our energy resist is oh 91 percent yeah we might get one shot if he hits true let's see here okay he doesn't awesome so we keep spamming this and watch out for the defense boost make sure it doesn't wear off okay nice and yeah there we go easy peasy Dodge slashed of near line thunder. That should be the final boss, I think. <coughs> Skip all of this. Next week, gift delivery. Yes, come on, come on. All right, so uh, two items here. Vidra's Judgment. This is a Mastercraft energy spell that pays. 107.69% melee in HP to auto hit. Wow, okay. Mastercraft gives a plus 10% damage boost when the monster is affected by a burn. This is good for monsters that have very high dodge, like the Essence of Wind Dragon. But apart from that, uh, I don't really see much use of this because you're paying quite a substantial amount of HP, I think, in order for the spell to auto hit. And you also get a 10% damage boost when the monster is affected by a burn. Good for those who want to play burn builds as well, but 10% damage is kinda lackluster in my opinion. So, yeah, very very niche users, okay? Monsters that don't resist well against energy with very high dodge, eh, I don't really think there are a lot of them, if any at all. So, yeah, that is probably a pass. Pets, Thunderlord's Ravens, very very good pet. Mastercraft energy pet that toggles between a pure damage mode for 5% uh, damage Mastercraft and a status mode that pays 8.806% melee in HP and 55% damage. Okay, to inflict a number of hits turns 1.295 power energy burn. So this is a ridiculously strong energy burn pet, one of the best in the entire game. So I highly recommend everyone who likes to play the energy burn build to go ahead and pick this pet up. I use this for my... Uh, let's play AQ character back when I still had him. So yeah, very very good pet and the burn can just stack up to a ridiculous amount. So Thunderlord's Ravens definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and get that. Now let us go ahead and check out the Frostville gift delivery.
Okay, so the boss is once again another Frost Giant Commander. Really nothing special, so I shall not bother showing that. Okay, so for the armors, we have the Lord of Thunder. It's a Mastercraft fully defensive energy armor that has an energy spell type skill that inflicts burn. This is one of the best, if not the best, fully defensive energy armors inside of the game. So if you are a fully defensive build, like a ranger build, then this will be a fantastic armor for you to pick up and definitely want to pick it up. Also comes with a pretty strong energy skill, so energy burn skill. So if you like to play around energy burn effects, you can consider picking this up as well. Shields, Thunderlord's Crest, Mastercard Energy Shield that heals SP when the monster is afflicted with a burn. So if you like to play around with the burn effect, you can get this shield, but honestly speaking, I think there are better energy shields out there, so this is not really my top tier recommendation for an energy shield. Alright, on to the final year, 2020. Oh my god. He does the wings attack instead of... <laughs> Okay, you know what, I'm going to pause the video here. Okay, so now I'm trying again, but this time I'm stacking the Dragon Lord shield. So, uh, this should work better, I think. It'll give us a lot more time to chip him down before he can dust his stupid attacks, and we should be fine. Okay, so I made a mistake uh, in the earlier fight just now. I should have just went ahead to nuke him, and uh, that would probably have gotten me the win instead of, you know, trying to outheal him or something like that. Yeah, so that was really dumb on my part. So we still have the shield up right now, so we should be pretty safe. Keep chipping him with the purifying search. And let's do that again. He'll do the fire attack. And that will do... Let's see how much damage then. Oh god, he does the wings attack. Damn, so you won't know if he does the fire attack or the wings attack, or does it element seek? Honestly, I don't know, but yeah, that really hurt. Try casting the shield again. Uh, so we want to do... Oh, we need to draw mana here. Perfect search. And it also doesn't help that he has pretty high MRM. Oh god, shield, healing. Alright, so we just keep trying to nuke here. Hope he goes down before we go down. Or before he uses his next SP attack, hopefully. Hmm. Healing. Okay, not enough for the shield. Dang. Yeah, the thing is his super high blocking. Like, super high blocking is really what is doing me in here. Do we go for it? Hmm. I'm going to cheat here. I am going to cheat here. And... Nope, that does not work. And we are dead! Oh, man. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, I still have this one. Ah, okay, okay. One last final chance, huh? Redemption, guys. Yes, thankfully for that second life. <laughs> okay, we got it. Awesome. For this quest, you only get one freaking item. And that is Unbound Revelation. Mastercraft Fire Miscellaneous item that can toggle between two modes. Okay, uh, boosting strength, intellect, and endurance, or boosting charisma, dexterity, and endurance. Completely useless item in my opinion, so yeah, this is not a quest that you want to do just for it. So you can pass up this quest, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All alone, boss fight. Okay, so I just showered, and now we are back. Also, it doesn't matter which element we use, heart damage, cap. Immunity to the cold boss boost and yeah, let's get started. I don't know if he'll hit. I think he might hit with fire first. Let's try it out. Let's bring out obsidian cloak just for the extra shielding. Just in case. Okay, let's start. Okay, nice. We got a drop on him which means that... Uh, okay, no. Because of the hard damage cap, we won't be able to... 
what do you call that? We won't be able to uh, one shot him, but that's fine. Let's see. I already have Arcane M. Let's do Una Poka as well. And we'll just do the standard setup. Uh, we could try and dodge less this guy, but I'm I think nuking him will be slightly faster, so that's what we'll do. Okay, Shadow Feeder. He doesn't have a lot of HP as well, so I guess this is good. Uh, to take him out with a nuke. Get a few more rounds of Shadow Feeder. See if we get lucky. Okay, three rounds. That should be more than enough. Uh, because of the damage cap, I think healing branch will be more efficient, so that's what we are going to be using here. And then we'll just bring out our back door as well. Very fine search. Yep, this is way more efficient, and he should. I don't know if he'll go down this turn. Maybe he might. Oh yeah, he does. Okay, so he doesn't even get a turn. Pretty easy monster. And let's see, skip all of this. Come on. Alright, all alone. Two items here. Unraveling Nightmare. It's a Mastercraft Fire spell that requires a turn to charge. By paying a bunch of stuff, it ends up dealing extra 141% damage. Now, because Destruction Burst exists and it's a completely free-to-play spell, this spell is... Worthless. There's really no reason to use this over Destruction Burst in my opinion, especially since uh, it takes an extra turn to charge as well. So yeah, this one not worth picking up. Pets. Skating Dreams here. Mastercraft Fire Pet that deals 5% extra damage but can toggle between an MP or an SP healing mode. Once your MP SP drops below 50% and the pet is in the respective mode, you'll pay 55% damage to heal you after the attack. The heal is auto hit and not based on the damage dealt by the pet on its attack. So this one, I think it only heals when you're below 50% MP or SP. And on top of that, uh, with the new Fey items, with the new gift box uh, Ghost Hound pet, and with the Comitoid Jelly pets, if you have those, yeah, this one is not worth picking up at all if you have any of those items. And since those items are still available now, with the exception of the Jelly pets, then I guess this is not worth picking up. Alright, now for the last part, which is the gift delivery. Alright, so if I remember correctly, there's actually two bosses here. One is the War Within, and then the second one is going to be the Nightmare Queen. Okay, so we'll do this one first. Hopefully, we can win. Uh, let's see what he has. Freedom, Soft Damage, Cat, Boss Boost as well. Okay, let's get this started. It does Darkness. Okay, nothing surprising. It does have an SP attack coming up next turn, so... Uh, let's try and get rid of... We don't want him to do that because I can't remember what it does and I don't really want to die to it. So I'm going to use Underwhelming later to make sure that he doesn't do that attack. Attack with Demonic Flames. Yep, that's what we want. We can do... No, Shadow Feeder we can save for later. Let's try Power Gauntlet though. It's not going to be much use because of the damage cap but you know what just to make sure that we are able to hit the damage cap and chip him down as quickly as we can we are going to use that okay damage and let's see shadow feeder i don't think we need too many turns it's not like he has a bunch of hp 3900 okay three rounds i think it should be more than sufficient so let's preparing all this back And we can do... Shall we do... No, Zorbeck Door is not gonna do much. So we'll just save the SP here and not do any of that. Uh, I think we'll click on the shield as well. Just in case. So I should have done that before I proper rain everything back. But I forgot. Never mind. So, Underwhelming should stop him from doing his SP attack. Yep, it does. Nice. And his Darkness attack really doesn't do much, so we don't have anything to worry about here. Uh, 
I don't think you can kill him this turn. We'll probably need one more turn. But before we kill him, I would like to build up some SP for the last fight, which I believe should be the Nightmare Queen. Okay, we should get a full heal after this, uh, except for the SP. So we'll just charge up the SP to full. And then we can just draw mana here. And let's finish this. All right. <coughs> Easy. Okay, now for the last one, Nightmare Queen. We'll try and see if we can dodge slash her. I don't know if she's uh she's dodge slashable, though. So let's try. She has her own backlash, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's start. She doesn't have a lot of health either. You resist the Nightmare Queen's charms. Nice. So let's start with Purple Rain. Earth will do fine, uh, light, we want a light pet. Let's do this, and just in case the dodge fails, okay, or just in case our attack is auto hit for whatever weird reason, let's go and make sure that we don't get ourselves killed or nuked to death. Oh. Let's do that again. Okay, we got a 2,320 HP shield. Pretty comfortable with that power gauntlet. Does this work? Yes, it does. Nice. We'll do Walnuts and... Oh, almost forgot to do Una Poka. No, uh, Code Konami, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, I forgot. I already... I should have done that before I done the rest. Oh, well. We'll bring up Pig Drake instead. And then let's see here. Shadow Feeder. We just need one turn. Okay, good. Titans Fall. And Weapons. Big Dictionary. Panoply. Now we can Purple Rain. Please tell me the dodge slashing will work. Okay, so you don't need to use Bright Slayer Dog here because he has minus 50% to ice. We could circumvent that with the use of Prime Chaos Orb, but I'm not going to take the risk here. Okay, so we'll take that away and yeah, we should be good to go now. Light of Fire. Let's just cast Destruction Burst. <coughs> okay, let's see. Oh, nice. The dodge slashing works. Okay, but... You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's see if she can dodge slash herself to death. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Alright, easy peasy. There we go, guys. Finally, the last one. The last freaking one. <coughs> <coughs> oh, man. Over an hour and a half long video. This video took, like, what? Six hours? Seven hours worth of recording compressed into, like... 1 hour 40, 45 minutes. Yeah, really crazy. Okay, so armors, we have the Scathing Dream Weaver here. Mastercraft fully defensive fire armor. There's a Mastercraft to heal SP each turn. It also has a toggle to switch to Spellcaster Lean for 4 turns or until you run out of SP and pace. SP to boost spells by 25% damage. While in this spell casting mode, menu is locked except for attacks, spells, and flee. The attack is also turned into a spell that deals minus 62.5% additive and times 0.5 multiplicative damage to heal. Damage dealt times 60% of standard MP cost over expected damage dealt for 0.75 clawback. InfoSub states that it takes minus 3 MRM to pay for a toggle, but this penalty was removed since the spell casting mode has enough penalties already to be free. Uh, if you have Blood Mage armors, use that instead. This is not worth. If you don't have the Blood Mage armors, I guess this is a decent armor for spell casting. Though it's kind of weird because it's fully defensive, but at the same time you get a spellcaster lean. So yeah, very weird armor. Um, yeah, if you don't have the blood mage, you can use this. But other, but even if you don't have the blood mage, I think generalist would probably be better than this. So skating dream weaver. Yeah, anything with a spellcaster boost is lean is just not that great right now until they changed it. So I would say this is probably a pass. You can get it. And play around with it if you're a mage. Otherwise, it's a pass. Alright, shields. Dream Weaver's Contempt. Mastercraft Fire Shield that comes with a once per battle skill that pays 385 SP at level 150 to heal 
132 MP per turn and reduce fire damage by 35.714% uh, for 3 turns. Okay, damage reduction is good. The MP healing is uh, basically just a bonus on top. This is a decent shield, I would say, considering most battles don't take anywhere longer than that. So we can use this or you can use Cozy Fazet Moglu, whichever one you prefer. If the battle is going to take longer than 3 turns, then Cozy Fazet Moglu will be better. But if not, Dream Weaver's Contempt will be the better shield. So yeah, that's it guys. My Frost Veil Guide. Uh, Frost Veil Paintings Guide to all of the bosses from 2014 to 2020 as well as the items guide. Hope you guys have enjoyed this super long video and if you appreciated the hard work that I put into this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you uh, like to see more of such future content. And do share the video with your friends who just got back into AQ, who are uh, new players to AQ, you know, they are looking for stuff to buy, they don't know what to buy, then yeah, they can refer to this video. Alright, till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.